force and acceleration due to gravity. Earth's gravitational force. Every object in the universe attract every other object with a force called gravitational force. The value of this force is calculated using expression F is equal to G multiplied by M1 multiplied by M2 divided by R square. Where G is gravitational constant having value G is equal to 6.67 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kilogram square. M1 and M2 are masses of two objects and R is the distance between them. Thus, gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of masses of two objects and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. It is a vector quantity, that is, it have magnitude as well as direction. The direction of this force is towards the center of the mass of the object. A center of mass of the object is the point at which whole mass of the body is said to be concentrated. Earth also attract object with the gravitational force. We call it as Earth's gravitational force. Since the gravitational force is directed towards the center of mass of the object, therefore, Earth's gravitational force is directed towards its center of mass. Since Earth is assumed to be spherical, therefore, the center of mass of Earth lies at its geometrical center. This force pull the object towards its center. This is the reason why objects fall on Earth in vertically downward direction. Acceleration due to gravity G If Earth attracts an object towards itself, then that object also attracts the Earth towards itself with equal force. This means that Earth and the object both should move towards each other. But we always see that object move towards the earth. We never see earth moving towards the object. Why is it so? According to Newton's second law, the force acting on the body results in change in its speed, which is called acceleration. This acceleration is given as the force divided by mass of the body. A is equal to F divided by M. In case of gravitation, the acceleration of object with smaller mass will be greater as compared to acceleration of object with higher mass. It is because the answer of F divided by M will be greater for smaller mass. That means, the objects move towards each other with different accelerations. Since mass of Earth is very large, therefore, the gravitational force results in negligible acceleration in it. Thus, it appears that the Earth is at rest and the object is moving towards it. Here we introduce a new term in gravitation. It is acceleration due to gravity denoted by G. It is defined as the acceleration produced in a body as a result of gravitational force acting on it. It is also a vector quantity, which direct towards the center of mass of the body. Let's calculate the value of acceleration due to gravity at the surface of Earth. This is the expression of gravitational force, where capital M is mass of Earth, whose value is 6 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 24 kilogram. Small m is mass of object placed at its surface and r is the distance of object from the center of earth, that is radius of earth. It is equal to 6.4 multiplied by 10 raised to power 6 meters. If g is the acceleration due to gravity, then gravitational force can also be given as F is equal to mg. By solving 1 and 2, we get 
g is equal to 9.77 meters per second square. At a given point on the surface, the value of g is constant for all objects, regardless of object properties. Here we complete this topic. For more such videos, visit learnfatafat.com.